frequent viewer, then you know that this is usually the part of the program where Maria and I are up on the roof, but we probably get blown away because of the winds today. So we're playing it safe and we're staying inside. We're going to check in with Maria in just a little bit. In the meantime, though, let's talk about early voting. It starts in New York State in about a week, and many of you wanted more details about the early voting process, when the votes are counted and so on. Well, we put a top reporter on the assignment today, and by top reporter, I mean our good friend, senior voter data correspondent, Nate Benson. Kate, we're just about a week away from early voting starting in New York State, and with so much interest in this election cycle, it's expected that there will be a larger turnout for early voting than what we've seen in the past. There are 48 early voting locations in the eight counties of western New York, and early voting begins next Saturday, October 24th. Early voting is a great option. There's nine days of it uh, to conveniently come to one of our three locations. Uh, we're highly encouraging people to do that because that will take the stress off the election day. You know, obviously that's the one that the, most people will turn out at. So more uh, uh, individuals that participate in early voting will lessen the uh, responsibility and the push, if you will, on election day. With COVID-19 being a concern, Chautauqua County Elections Commissioner Brian Abrams says if you can vote early, then vote early. I think with the COVID-19 requirements of spacing people out and uh, using the methods that we'll have to to keep everybody safe, both the poll workers and the voters, that the process will be slower um, and there will be need for some patience, uh, but I believe that uh, we'll be more than prepared to uh, provide good uh, steady service to all the voters. We will be moving people in and moving them out very quickly to the best of our ability due to gathering um, and all that type of thing that we obviously can't allow this time. Okay, so you early voted, but when will your early vote actually be counted? Early voting will be uploaded 9 o'clock on Election Day to be the first totals into the uh, Election Night reporting. And that process is a little bit different for absentee ballots, which I'll be explaining at 6 o'clock. Reporting in Kenmore, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.